to show you my gear before I get started. I've got my usual palette. Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red, Ultramarine, Lemon Yellow, Payne's Grey and Lizarin Crimson. Uh, my main brush is the Large Hake. I've also got a 3 quarter inch flat and a number 3 rigger. And I've got my tea towel just for wiping all the excess water off the hake. So I'm going to start as usual, clean water and just give the whole paper all over just a good even soaking. So at least this way, even using, this is only £130 paper, but because I'm wetting it all over evenly it'll stretch evenly so you won't, it won't go crinkly or horrible like your tent tends to. If I'd have just done the sky bit first. So I'm going into the raw sienna. Just put on at random. No, nothing. No real plan. Just bash it on. Now I'm going to clean the brush. Dry it on the uh, tea towel. Ultramarine. Just put it on just just here and there really it's just the, the gaps in the clouds and then there's going to be water at the bottom so I want I want the reflection of the sky in the water and then I'm going to go alizarin crimson pines grey Just try and get one dominant cloud up in the sky somewhere. And then just dance around the rest of the page. Obviously as they go farther off into the distance they get smaller and smaller these clouds. Trying to help create the illusion of depth. Uh, Obviously this is going to be water so I just want to, some sort of sky reflection, that'll do, I don't want to dominate it too much. So that's the sky in. So you can see how the paper's starting to stretch so I'm just going to pull it tight and refix it on the right hand side over here. So we've got a nice flat surface to work with. So that's now our flat paper. A nice little base to work from. Just a very simple sky, foreground. Obviously the, the, the horizon's going to be about a third of the way up the page. I like to put them. Either a third or two thirds. Remember the rule of thirds. Always put your main areas of interest at the cross sections of the thirds. So the first bit of land I'm going to, actually, no, the first bit, I'm going to, there's a bit, little bit on the left hand side, quite far away, so I'm going to do it predominantly blue. I'm just going to have a touch of raw sienna, but mainly blue. Because the further summit away is, the, the blue helps to create that more distant feeling. And so just very light in tone. You don't see much of these sorts of distances that far away. You don't can't make out any details or anything like that. That's enough for that. Now there's a closer bit of land now on the right hand side, like a big hill coming down. So I'm going to go raw sienna, just a touch of ultramarine, and it's going to start somewhere up here and just come down about like that. And then from here on in, I'm just varying. Varying the colours I come down, as I come right down to the bottom, there's plenty of grass. So I'm going to ultramarine, lemon yellow, and then to really darken it up, go into the uh, Payne's Grey, lemon yellow, Payne's Grey, for those really dark greens and trees that are at the 